Suppose the godfather of all conspiracy theories, at least part of it, that mystery in the Nevada desert. We're now learning Area 51, America's capital city for UFO sightings, and the stuff of Hollywood science fiction is apparently real. Here's ABC's Nick Watt. For nearly 60 years, the government denied this place even existed. Sounds odd, but I'm going to call it the most famous secret base in the world, an epicenter of alien intrigue featured in Independence Day. There's no Area 51. That's not entirely accurate. Even Mulder and Scully visited one dark night. Area 51. Classified experiments involving extraterrestrial technology. Now, for the first time, the US government has released CIA documents showing a map of the secret base in the Nevada desert with Area 51 not redacted. Dun, dun. Da. So, I mean, this might be one step on the road to finding out really what has gone on there. Uh, yes, but I, I wouldn't expect that it's ever going to involve aliens. <laughs> okay. Area 51 has launched a thousand conspiracy theories. Some people claim the Roswell aliens were brought here for reverse engineering. Others say the moon landing footage was actually shot here on a soundstage. And hundreds of people who saw spy planes flying unfeasibly high above the base called in UFO sightings. The newly declassified documents relate to that U-2 spy plane program, but I'm afraid no mention of UFOs whatsoever. Will this staunch the flow of conspiracy theories? Yeah, right. Nick Watt, ABC News, Los Angeles.